Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. I'll be testing out the new game My Hero Ultra Rumble so you don't have to. I'll be going through the different things that are in this game as the game is relatively new. There was a beta test a bit earlier but now I think this is the official release so I'll be going through everything you need to know, what the gameplay is like, what the game has to offer and hopefully that will give you a better idea of what the game can do and so you can play it yourself. Which I highly recommend but if you want to see why I highly recommend the game Stay tuned and I'll be going through all of it. And without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the game has a daily login system and I don't know what the gallery piece red is so far. This is about my fifth time playing the game since I just got it yesterday. I'll just quickly go through these rewards. Okay, I know that currency can be used to summon um, different items and voice lines from the roll thing. I'll show you all the um, different sections this game has to offer. Right, this is the main screen. You have the play tab, customization, um, which you can customize your character and your banner. We've got the shop section, which is self-explanatory. You can buy a battle pass. I'll show you what the battle pass has and what it can do. Uh, let's see. We've got the roll section where you can roll for different items like um, different player skins different voice lines and different banner icons of stuff like that. I did some rolls yesterday and I got some rewards. The currency that can be used can be seen on the top right and on the one times roll and the ten times roll so you get a better idea of what you can buy. Uh, let's look at the license section. This is where you see your um, battle pass and yeah there's a few different rewards you can get. Uh, let's try and scroll through these really quickly to the end. Yeah, you mostly earn just currency and stuff to unlock um, more things you'll be using to customize your game. None of these will give you a competitive advantage, they will just be cosmetic in... Yeah, I think they'll be just cosmetic. And then let's check the event tab where there's going to be different missions and ways for you to gain more points and to gain lots more rewards. Let's go back to the customization tab. Right, in the customization tab here we can see all the characters we've got as... If I have to go through them by name, we have Izuku Midoriya, who has different outfit styles, which are just reskins and recolors of his original design. Uh, different sections for him. Let's go through Bakugo. Again, different designs. I unlocked this outfit yesterday, but um, there's different recolors there. Uh, let's have a look at her outfits. Right. I think this might be the best one if we're going by a difference. Right, Ida, I don't think I'll be using him too much. Uh, Todoroki, his outfits are just mostly recolors and so they're mostly just simple. Uh, okay, Frappy. Uh, let me just go through all of these really quickly and show you all the, um, all the things you are able to get. Momo, well at least some of the um, outfits cover her up. Uh, Denki. I faced a Denki in the match yesterday. His abilities seem cool, but I'll get into that in a bit. I'll just call her Vine Lady since I don't care about what her actual name is. I'm not pronouncing that. All Might, which is the character most people are definitely going to be going for. He's got a lot of um, outfit reskins that might interest a lot of people. Let's go through the last of the two hero characters, which don't know what you can do and I don't care. And then we've got Mount Lady. I'll show you some of her gameplay in a bit. And then the hero section. We have Shigaraki over here. His outfit seems goofy. We've got Daki which I'll also be showing you because I'm really curious about what he can do. And we've got her. Creepy lady. And lastly we've got this guy. Not sure why anybody would want to I don't know what the, uh, most of the abilities are, so um, let's just go through all of them together. Now that I've shown you everything from these tabs, there's a few things I would like to personally go, th go over. Before I start playing the game, um, I should go through some of the mechanics. Let me just an event is ready up. Way. Yeah, I know there's an event. School festival. Nobody cares, Todoroki. You can change your characters over here and every single character has three unique abilities along with their basic attack, different animations and they have, um, I think that's about it, yeah, basic attacks are different for everyone depending on their quirks and fighting style, um, everyone has three unique abilities they can use, three attack types I mean, one's a ranged, 
one tends to be close quarters and the other ones um, I'll show you by example actually when we get into the match uh, okay who should I be going with first to give you a good example you know uh, let's start with our villain. Let's go with Dabi, just to Show give an example. Right, ready up. The game works on uh, teams of three, and there are eight teams in total, although there are different modes in the side over there. We'll go over that um, by the end of the video. Right, now that we're loading it onto the spawn island, I'm going to be showing you a few of the things you can do. So, everybody has a basic attack. You can um, aim for a more direct hit. Everyone has a ranged attack. They are all different in one way or another. Okay, now the second type of attack. All these have a cooldown, by the way. Look on the side, you'll see. The abilities can also be leveled up. Oh, so you can create an area of effect. I see, I see, that's interesting. There is no blocking mechanic, so if you do take damage, you kind of need to just deal with it. Uh, let's check the running animation, which isn't too unique for this guy. I've explained that you can use um, one type of ability, second type of ability, and the third type of ability. If you look on the bottom right side, you can see that uh, the abilities can be... They can run out and they can also be upgraded, so they can have a um, so they can have a better effect. Anyway, let's get into the match and we'll see the map section. The leader usually chooses where everybody goes, but... You can all choose independently where you want to go, although it's definitely recommended that you all go to the same place, so you don't get your asses kicked, obviously. Was I the leader? Okay. Looks like you found a spot. Um, I guess we'll be going over here. Let's cut loose. Come on, All Might. All Might? No, no. I guess we're going over there. Also, the good thing is you can see where all the teams are going to go. So, um, there's three teams of... Um, eight teams of three. And there's someone close by. Alright, let me go look for some item boxes so I can actually have a fighting chance. The item boxes contain stuff like heals, um, abilities, stuff you can use. Kaminari. Trash. Buddy. Did I just call him trash? <laughs> okay. You can climb, you can uh, crouch, you can do different things. Can you slide? No, you can't slide. Um, let's just get to the top of the mountain bit. Yeah. Yep, let's go. I'm not really a fan of Daki so far. I thought he'd be more interesting. I tried Bakugo and his attacks just seemed better by comparison. Oh no. Oh god. A good thing there's no um fall damage, right? You can't climb any faster, this is about it. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but some variety would have been um Ooh, hell. Oh awesome. Alright. I'm not really well versed in the items yet. Should have probably paid more attention during the tutorial, but um I guess I can't really go back now, can I? Like any other battle royale, you can ping items, so if it's a specific item for your team, for a certain person of the team, you can give it to them. Like, that's definitely not for me. Let's check the item box and see if I've got anything useful. Let me grade my shield here. Right. The shield is the only way you can really protect yourself from any damage. There's a safe zone, like any battle royale, to keep you under attack, you say. Come on. Under attack from who? That's my question. The directional sound could use some work. I see you. Your attacks are so slow, Daki. Wait, it's not Daki, it's Dabi. Come on, guys. Up there? Burn. An enemy attack. <laughs> annoying. I know, it's really annoying. He thinks he can get himself out of this. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's fight, let's fight, bro. 
I know it's a dark, it's a Darby. Keep calling him Darky for some reason. Let's go up. If I want a real fight, let's have it up here. It better not be all you've got. Come on. Who wants smoke? Who wants some smoke? Did I just see that? I really need to learn this guy's abilities so I can function better. Watch out! An enemy attempted my turn four! You're not already in the safe area, get there! No patch in this get together. Thank you. Be careful. Come on, all might. Cra damn it, all might. It can't be. Oh no. Oof. Well, that was it for that one. Let's have a look at the rest of our team. How good are they doing? Obviously, you're under attack. Come on, come in, Ari. Come on. Oof. Well, um, that's it for that match. Note to self do not use Darby. Was at this point. Although at this point, I might as well just call you Darky and be done with it. When you lose initiative. You didn't lose initiative, you lost the match. Is it now? Okay. Alright guys, now that we're in the lobby, let me go through some things that um, I want to point out in the video. But if we go to the very bottom right, um, bottom left hand side, here we can see the different game modes we've got. Right, so we've got unranked, we've got ranked um, CPU battles, which is against bots. Training, where you can control um, different combinations and um, I'm assuming different settings as well, so you can uh, have a bit more experience practicing. And then there's the bot matches where you can practice your skill. And then there's, of course, um, ranked and unranked. Um, as it says, it's a um, three-player battle. Um, so your team will always have three people and you'll be facing off against eight um eight teams is what i mean right let's get to it i'll be using mount lady this time and i'm going into a bot match to make things a bit more easy because darky over there got beaten up i, I said darky didn't i it's darby um anyway there's a few more things i realized while playing so um let's go into the match and we'll see what the different changes are. Let's go. All right, the first thing I wanted to point out was, well, this. Oh, come on. Um, right. So, Mount Lady's attacks consist of that as the projectile got an error of effect and I've got a forward charge but what I do want to show you is something really different you see that charging meter on the bottom right hand side um, it's a bit closer to the middle right after the um, abilities do you see the countdown it's a special skill for every different um, character for Mont Lady it's to become a giant yes I do mean that she becomes a literal giant if you're thinking that's a bit overkill, it is. If you're thinking it's a competitive advantage, yes and no. While you do become a bigger target, you do a lot of damage as well, so it's risk and reward. You can attack a larger area, you have better control, but people with um, really attack-focused abilities can just one-shot you, so you need to really watch out for how you do things. Now look at that, I've got... Rocky and I don't care about Cementos in the slightest. No, also, slight provocative warning here. Mount Lady's voice lines are all very not student friendly. Alright. I'll try and play Battle Center so I can get the match over quickly. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but you can level up your abilities. So now they're on level 2. Well, the second one is on level 2. There are ways to manually level them up and there are ways to automatically do it. I usually just focus on the automatic level ups. 
You can get the abilities up to level 9, which makes their damage extremely high. So I warned you, she's a bit provocative. Level 2, level 1. Let's check. Yeah, let me level up that one since I use it most. Bring it up again. Open that up. Um, pull up that one. Consume that. What's this do? Um, Call of Magister, revive a teammate. It's a revive card. I've got one of three. Inside the dome, there's some battles going on. You can break structures, by the way. If you're feeling like they're in your way, just no way. shatter them. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you can't shatter the ones inside this dome. Hold on. Go. Is that my teammate? Is that why I couldn't fight her? Nope. Yeah. Just moving a bit too fast. I know you are. Come here. I can't use my ability just yet. I want to use the giant mode, but it'd be a bit too big for the stone. Crap. Oh god. Right. No, no, come on, come on. Oh, hello. Down. Please don't say money shot. Please don't say money shot. It's kind of meant to, bro. Finish up. Boom. You too. I guess I don't need to hold back anymore. Well, you kind of are. Directional um, audio could use some work, honestly, I think. Yeah, directional audio needs work. Also, my skill using these abilities could definitely use work, too. I'm persisting it. And that was the final one. Game set. Right, now you should know what Mount Lady can do. I've already tried All Might. Um, I'm going to try a character I haven't tried yet, so let's change character. I should also point out, you have character tokens up there. One out of three. I've already used some. You can only use a select amount of characters a select amount of times, so... 
with those keys you need to be really careful. Um, I guess... Who am I going to go for? I guess let's go with you. Right here. Alright, let's see what you can do. Um, her range is a bit slow when she only has a few of them. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, let's try this one. What's this doing? It's my question, like... Oh, it's a barrier! Okay, it deflects damage. And it's got its health up there. And then that. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this character. Let's see what she can do in battle. So she can throw that um, ranged attack, which is only five. Uh, she has a shield, and she has a blast attack. I want to see what her main ability does. Let's just go back here. And there's uh, some teams landing right in front of us, so the moment we land, we dash forward, or we go take out Midori in the sides. Okay. Midori and the others should... Midori should be to my left, and the other team should be to my right. Um, what do you got? Her running animation isn't anything special. I'm too impressed. Let's go forward. Oh, okay, let's start here. There should be hostiles to every side, I think. Fine. Some. What do I get to do here? Ah, oh, okay. I guess they found me. Okay, I don't like her abilities at all. Yeah, I guess your fists are the only thing I can really use or depend on reliably. Feels like a handicap, honestly. Bye now. Perfect. Who's next? What's my team? Damn them. What's this? Oh, there's an item chest about to land here. Can I shoot it down? No. Let's see what you've got. It is, isn't it? Okay. I'm stacked. Full on stacked right now. Okay. I've got a revive card, right? Yeah, that's a revive card. Um, heals. Collect badges to revive a team. Yeah. And what's that? Increase the quirk skill level. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. My team better find someone to fight soon. I haven't tried her ability just yet. Use Y for special action. I literally can't. What is her special action? 
looks like it summons some kind of astral form, but how do I activate it? Damn it, Ochako. Who cares? Come on, I'll check up. I still don't know how Sultra. Why am I? Can I take him out? No? Okay. Oh, no, knocked out. Oh, get away. Ah, uh, yeah, get away from that. I still don't know how you use her ability. Like, does she even have one? Special action, 100%. How do I charge it, though, is my question. Do I have to take damage in order for it to be... ...activatable? Like, by using the shield... ...and it taking damage, do I somehow power it up? Like, if that's the case, can I just power it up in the storm? No. That's not how it's done. I don't know how it's used. Rick Chinyin just don't know. Okay, how do you charge her ability? Oh my goodness. Um, okay. I can't do anything about it. Oh hello. Sorry, Bara. Goodbye. <laughs> Who are we gonna go with? To go to battle. Please change your character. Yeah, I get it. Let's go with a free character. I've tried Ochako, I'm not gonna do that again. I can try Mount Lady or Samantos, Babi or Shigu Shigaraki. Let's go, Shigi. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Alright. Alright, right, I guess let's see what Shigaraki can do. For a ranged attack. Oh, I like that. Um, It's a. It's like a lion type attack. Let's do it. The decay only spreads here. So it's a trap ability. Okay. It's a rush. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what your ability, um, special ability does. You guess, you just, uh, guess, dash forward. Okay. As usual, I'm gonna try and make this purely battle focused so you can know what the character can do. Start there. Let's have a look. Okay, my. Ooh, I'm landing next to some other guys as well. Okay, that's good. This way. Because. Shut up. Really? Yep. Yeah, I like this about the game. Since you know where your team, other people are gonna go, you can just decide to punish them for coming towards you. Come on, Shiggy. Oh, I'm on chest. 
Running animation isn't special. Pop up breaking. I thought I saw something. Item box. I guess let's go to it. Hopefully we find some enemies. That animation. Let me go get my team. Well, Shigaraki is a villain, it wouldn't make sense if he could help people. Let's set up that trap somewhere around here. Don't hide in a bush. Wait. Oh, collapse hand. Anyone who's asking for help as a villain, you can collapse the hand instead of helping them. Or just end them, I guess. Okay. I like that mechanic. Sake, useless teammates. attack too much. 
the fact that it lingers around just means that even if you miss, you can always get more. See, that's what I mean. Even if I miss, I haven't missed. God damn you, Compress. Game, set, match. Shigaraki wins. That ability of his is quite... Quite interesting, I'd say. Although for a person who's supposed to be a teenager, or I guess in your 20s, you look like you're... You look 90, Shigaraki. God damn, get some sleep and food. Right, I think that should give you a pretty good idea of how the game is supposed to be played. I've shown you the abilities that can be used. I've shown you um, how to use them. Well, more directly how to use them. How I use them and failed at it. I'm obviously not the best at the game. I've, I don't think I've played more than 10 matches since this game came out. I downloaded it yesterday or yesterday night. And I've only had a few times... I've only had a few matches to play of this game. Anyway, tell me what you think of the game so far in the comments below, and if you like the video, please don't forget to like, um, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to see the next video that comes out. I'll try to make more content on this vid, um, on this game, telling you what to use, what you shouldn't use, what to try, and all the interesting things you can try out, um, all the things, things to experience in the game. Um, with all that said, let me quickly check this role section. Do I have enough to do any roles? Yeah, I've got enough to do a 10 times roll, so I guess you guys get to witness two of them. Yeah, I'll do two rolls. Okay. Um, stand and witness. Use 100 to roll. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to end the video there. You can click off if you want. If you want to see what the rolls will show, then I guess Suyu said it best. Let's see. Okay, finished, I guess. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Is that a voice line? Okay. An outfit. Okay, nice. An outfit. Again, I don't care this time, though. Outfit. I don't know how to even use you. I don't care. Voice line. Okay. Outfit. A green Bakugo, that's something. Okay. I'm getting a lot of outfits. I don't care about you, bro. Another outfit. Oh, for the love of God, why you? Outfit. Ochako. No, I'm um, so you. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably use it when I've got more character tokens. I'll use it. That's not bad. Mask off. Okay, the highest I got was two stars, and it was so you. Go back. I'll do another roll. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using them for something else. But as for right now, since I've got enough currency, let's let's go for another ten times roll. Yep. I'm being a bit greedy, but let's go. Yes. I mean they're called roll tickets. I imagine that's what they're supposed to be used for. Shut up, Sue. You. And I am here to tell you to shut up. I just want my rewards already. 
Let's hope I get something actually interesting. Maybe something for Mount Lady. Mm, wink, wink. An emote. Oh, I get it. Okay. Eda. Two stars. Voice line. Oh, for God's sake, not you. Voice line. Don't care. Outfit. Now that's something you don't see every day. Endeavor would be proud. Outfit. I wish you'd cover up a bit more. Just no. Not the Joker style. No. You again. Hello. Not interested. I mean, the swag kind of goes away when you realize those brown parts on your skin aren't sleeves, those are burnt skin. Well, I got a two star, two two stars, three two stars. I'm not sure if the stars go any higher than that, but I would call that a good draw. Okay, this is the official end of the video. Like and subscribe, comment your thoughts. I do recommend you play the game and um, notification bell if you want to catch up with the next video about this game or to catch up with any other content I make, which check out my channel, see what you can find in there. And without further ado, um, have a great day, have a great night, peace my friend.